This road trip episode is sponsored by Stable. I use Stable in all my small gas engines, including my generator, lawnmower, weed whacker, leaf blower, and chainsaw. New Stable 360 performance prevents damage from ethanol, and vapor technology protects the fuel system from corrosion. I want you to go, hi, I'm Jim, and then you go, I'm Mike, and we're the Hocking Valley Motorcycle Club. <laughs> <laughs> we can do that. We'll do it. All right, go. We'll do it. Hi, I'm Jim. And I'm Mike. And we are the Hocking Valley Motorcycle Club. That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're at the Hocking Valley Motorcycle Club this weekend, uh, preparing for our two-day national dual sport, the uh, Copperhead National Dual Sport. Uh, if you want to come down and check us out on July 21st, 22nd, you can look us up online at HockingValleyMotorcycleClub.com or on our Facebook page, Hocking Valley Motorcycle. If I want to ride or uh, participate, what do I have to do? Well, you need a bike like this. It has to be street legal, so it has a license plate, uh, headlight, horn. Um, just has to be a street legal, street legal bike. How long is the ride? We're going to do uh, 100 miles a day. Uh, split up about 60 40 uh 40 percent road and 60 percent trail 60 percent trail yeah rain or shine rain or shine if it's muddy like this everybody's gonna go out yep your bike's gonna look like this when you come back when i was a kid it was always yamaha kawasaki rm or not rm but suzuki and honda and now this is a beta yeah this is an italian bike um it's been out for a number of years I bought this bike a couple of months ago. Um, really happy with it. It's uh, a 300cc two-stroke oil-injected motor. It's been a great bike for me, um, and uh, I really enjoy riding it. It's a fast bike. Yeah. So we come down from here, and what I want to do is to be able to go up this, but you can see how much erosion we have yeah. in there. So what we want to do is move that trail over to where this is here. And then we may actually have to bring some pallets down and make, build a bridge in here again. We have a small bridge, but it's not very good. We're gonna clear all this out. We're gonna dump it all into that trail so nobody uses that trail. Right. Okay, so everything here will go over there. Yep. And then we're gonna go to my right of that dead tree. Yep. Okay. <laughs> We spent the first day clearing out brush and riding in parts of the trail. That's my brother Jim riding up the path we just cleared. And that's my brother Will working with the cordless hedge trimmer. This turned out to be a great tool for cutting back the thorn bushes. The next day we got started on those bridges. The first one was really easy. It's basically just one pallet with a four by four at each end. The other bridge was going to have to be a lot bigger and I wasn't exactly sure how that was going to happen until Mike pointed out a dead oak tree and we were able to drop the tree and then use parts of the tree and and build off of it and that worked out really well it's good it's a lot of material Let's just leave it like that and let Jimmy see it. Jimmy can make it over that. <laughs> yes. There you go, Jimmy. Right oh, wait a minute. We got to get we a picture of this right show. Just put arrows across Jimmy would shit his face. I got it on video. <laughs> put the arrows there. <laughs>
At this point, the bridge looks and feels pretty good, and my brother Jim wrote over it the way it is right here in this picture, but the plan is to get more material and add a little more reinforcement and support. The following day, Will and I packed up to get back to Jersey, and my brother Jim and the rest of the guys went out to mark the trail. These bikes are a ton of fun, and Will and I had a great time hanging out with my brother Jim and meeting his friends. I'm not going to make it out for the ride this year, but I'm definitely shooting for next. A big thank you to Stable for sponsoring this episode and supporting my channel. Learn more about Stable and the Copperhead National Dual Sport at the links in the description.